In this video, I'm showing you one of the best free Photoshop alternatives. If you're new to the channel and you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. Please do watch this video right until the end because as well as showing you this free Photoshop alternative, I also go and show you the basics of using it. And this is a great alternative and you can also go and open up Photoshop files known as PSD files and you can go and export and save as PSD files as well. So honestly, this will work really well if you know you're using Photoshop files as well. So without any further ado, let's go and jump straight into this video. As you can see, I'm now on my desktop and just a quick note, this guide is going to work regardless if you're on PC or Mac. And actually both of these alternatives I'm showing you are both based online, but don't worry, it's still really, really good. But just before I go and show you this awesome online software, after I show you it, I'm also going to show you how you can sort of use it and the basics of using it. So let's go and open up a web browser. So here we go. All you want to do is come to a search engine as well, so I'm personally using Google, and all you want to do is search something called Photopeter, that's all one word, P-H-O-T-O-P-E-A, just like that, then go and search for it, then make sure you come to photopea.com, it says online photo editor, but honestly it's just like Photoshop. So as you can see, here we are. So as you can see, it looks very, very similar to Photoshop if you've seen that. And honestly, the best thing is you can go and open up um, Photoshop files and you can save files as Photoshop files. So let's go and get started. So as you would in Photoshop, go to the top left where it says file, then go and click on new. Then you can go and set the dimensions for your project. So I've got 1280 by 720 and I'm gonna make it transparent. And then just go and hit create and boom, here we are. But guys, if you'd like a more in-depth PhotoP tutorial, then I have already made one and you can go and check my channel out for there. But I wanna go and show you the quick basics in this guide. Now in just a moment, I'll show you how to go and create a basic image and export it and save it. But the first thing I'd like to show you is how you can go and open up a Photoshop file. Simply go and click on file and then go and click open. And then you can go and open up PSDs. And also if you want to go and save your image as PSDs, you can click save as PSD. Um, and then you can go and say, send that to someone who uses Photoshop and they can go and open this file up or you can go and export it as a JPEG if you want to go and upload it to YouTube or Instagram or something like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add some text. So grab the text tool like that and then go and click anywhere. And let's go and change the size. I'll make it a tiny bit smaller about that size there. And then all you want to do is go and choose a font you like. So I quite like this uh, duplex side. Then I'm just gonna go and type something like hi, for example, and then go and press the T tool once you're happy with it. Then go back and click on the cursor tool. Then go and press on transform tools and you can go and change the size. Now make sure you hold shift as it makes sure the aspect ratio doesn't change and you don't sort of squeeze it. I also recommend creating different layers when doing background. So simply come to the bottom right and click on this new layer button here. And then it's gonna go and get a new layer here. And let's just go and make, quickly make a background and we'll go and choose a nice color like the blue. And I'll just switch those around so that it's actually in use. And then we can simply color it in just like this. I'll just make it a bit bigger. And then to go and deselect it so you get rid of those lines, do control D. Now just switch these layers around so the height is on top of it just like this and boom, there we go. So then to go and save it, all you need to do is go and click on file and then you can go and do save as PSD. Then it's gonna go and bring up your file explorer and you can choose where you'd like to save it. And then you can also go and do file and do export as well to say a PNG, go and click save and boom, it goes and drops the download here. Now let's go and get into the second alternative, which is another awesome software called Pixlr. So that's P-I-X-L-R, just like so. Then go and press enter and then make sure you come to pixlr.com. It's gonna take a minute to load and we've got two different options down here. You want to make sure you go and click on the advanced photo editor. So click here and then it's gonna take a minute to load. We can quit off this. But as you can see, we need to go and create a new template. So simply go and click create new here and then we can go and choose the size of it. So for this example, I'm just gonna go and use full HD 1920 by 1080 and then go and click there. I'm gonna name this example and then go and click create down here. Then as you can see, we'll have to go and agree and proceed. And then here we go, we've got our background we can go and start with. So you can go and zoom out to see a bit more by doing control minus and here we go guys. This is another really cool software which is very similar to Photoshop as well. It's quite similar to Photopea, but I like to provide an alternative as well in case you don't like this one, for example. So once again, let's go and create a new layer. It's the first thing you do. So click here and then you want to go and do empty. And then we'll go and add our background by doing our select tool, doing the whole image, and then we can go and add some color. Then once you select your color and press okay, then go and press on the paint tool and we'll go and make this brush a bit bigger. 
just like this and we'll just then go and fill this whole thing in and then to go and deselect it do control D just like before and then we can go and press back on the cursor and if we wanted to we could go and add some text as well so come and click on the T tool and then to go and delete a layer simply go and click on it and then press your delete key and it's going to go and delete it so I've now just got this text here I'm just going to make it a bit bigger by holding this white line here and there we go I can now go and save high here just like that and then to go and save it simply go to the top left where it says file and you can go and do save and you can go and save it as a pxz file which is a pixlr file so then you can go and re-upload this to on pixlr and you can continue editing it so i'll click download just like that and it's going to go and drop the download you can quickly export it as a png as well just by clicking here and it's going to go and drop the download i'll click here and boom there is what we just created if you found this guide useful please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel leave a like for more i'll catch you in the next one peace